Okay, this is unit six, day one. We're going to talk about uh, properties of exponents. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about that I want you to uh, either be aware of or remember is that if we have something like x squared, the x is called the base. And the 2 is called the exponent. And also, one important thing to remember is that x is the same as x to the 1 power. So that 1 is understood as the power. That's a place where a lot of students will forget and make little mistakes. Okay. So, the first, first uh, property of exponents we're going to talk about is the product of powers property. And what this is, is, let me zoom in a little bit. This says that a to the m times a to the n power equals a to the m plus n. Now, we'll practice the little... When you multiply, you add, and do all these things as we go through uh, all the different properties that we're going to go through over the next few days. Um, but with this one, let's do an example first. And then let's go in and use the property. So example one. Let's do x cubed times x to the fifth. So we could, if we put this in expanded form x cubed times x to the fifth. x cubed is x times x times x. x to the fifth is x times x times x times x times x. Five x's, which if I add all those up, equals x to the eighth power. Now if we use the property for this one, uh, we're going to get x cubed times x to the fifth equals x to the three plus five, where we add the exponents, and when we add the exponents, we get x to the eighth. So the property is a quicker way to get it. And let me add up here. So when we're multiplying like bases, because the a and the a are alike, you're going to add the exponents. Okay, now let's look at the next power of properties, uh, power of a power property. And what this one says is if we have a to the m power, and then we raise that to the nth power, so a power raised to a power, this is going to equal a to the m times n power. So here we're going to multiply the exponents. We're going to multiply the exponents. So let's look at an example without the power again. In fact, let's actually use the uh, um, product of powers property for this one. Uh, we'll call this example one of this batch. So we have x cubed to the fourth power. If I write that out in expanded form, I get x cubed times x cubed times x cubed times x cubed, where if I use my product of a powers, product of powers properties, that's hard for me to say, it's going to be x to the 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which equals x to the 12th power. Now if we use the property for this, we have x cubed to the 4th power, which is going to be x to the 3 times 4, and x to the 3 times 4 equals 3 times 4 is 12, so it's going to be x to the 12th power. So, again, we got the same thing that we got the other way. Okay, we're going to do a few more examples with some of these, uh, these next ones, but the next one is going to be a power of a product property. And that means a power, a product means to multiply. So, what that's going to look like is if I have a, b, 
So I'm multiplying a times b and I'm raising that to the nth power. What that means is that is the power goes with, with each thing inside the parentheses. So this is going to become a to the m, b to the m power. Okay, so let's do an example with this. Example 1. Let's do x, y to the fifth power. And so the 5 goes with the x and the 5 goes with the y. So we end up with x to the fifth, y to the fifth. And let's do another example, example 2. And let's do 2x cubed y, and then this is to the third power. So when I do this, I have the, the power goes to each of these. So this becomes 2 cubed times x cubed cubed times y cubed. Now do remember that the exponent on the y is a 1. If it's not there, it is understood to be 1. So when we now we can multiply this. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Then we have x to the power raised to a power. We multiply. This is where we start combining all these things. And then y, y 1 times 3 is 3. So this becomes 8x to the ninth y cubed. And if you need to go back and watch any part of this, please do. Uh, let's do another example, of another one of these in the same little section. Uh, let's call this example 3. And let's do 3x squared y times negative 4xy cubed squared. Okay, so since there's not an outside exponent on the 3x squared y, let's go ahead and simplify this part first. So that means that the negative 4 is going to be squared, the x is going to be squared, and the y cubed is going to be squared. When we do this, a negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So this becomes 16x squared y to the power raised to a power we multiply so that's 3 times 2 is 6 so that's y to the 6th I'm going to go ahead and bring down my 3x squared y the more organized you are with this the more likely you are to get it right so now we're just going to multiply our regular numbers together just like what you've been doing since third grade or so 3 times 16 is 48 Now it's x, uh, x squared times x squared is going to be x to the 2 plus 2. And then with the y's, y to the, again, we have to add, add the uh, exponents. That's understood to be 1, so 1 plus 6. So we end up getting 48x to the 4th. 2 plus 2 is 4, 1 plus 6 is 7, y to the 7th, when it's fully simplified. Okay, so we have one more, uh, one more type to talk about, and that is going to be the uh, quotient of powers property. And what this is, this says a to the m over a to the n. So up here when we multiplied at the top, we added when we multiplied. So what do you think we're going to do when we divide? The opposite of that, which is subtract. So it's going to be a to the m minus n power. And let's do an example of this without the property first. Let's do x to the 6th divided by x squared. If I put it in expanded form, we get x times x times x times x times x times x times x. I think that's 6 of them over x times x. Let's see what can divide out. Here, that goes into that once, and that goes into that once. That goes into that once, and that goes into that once. Those all divided out. So we are left with x to the fourth power. And if we use the property, that's going to be x to the sixth divided by x squared equals x to the sixth minus two, the numerator divided by the denominator exponent, which equals x to the fourth. Let's do one more example. And this is going to be example two of this batch. 
before you get busy on your assignment. A cubed over A squared divided by A. A cubed over B squared divided by AB. What exponents are understood on the, the, in the denominator? Yes, those are ones. So this equals A to the 3 minus 1, B to the 2 minus 1, which is A squared. B, if it's 1, you don't have to put it. And uh, I do want to point out one thing before you start the assignment, and that is there's a formula that you're going to need. And uh, I'll go ahead and put it right up here. I just want you to remember that the area of a triangle equals one-half the base times the height. Where B stands for the base. I use the cursive B so it doesn't look like a 6. And H stands for the height. Please let me know if you have any questions.